Google Ads budget pacing is going to help you understand how the platform is using your budget on a monthly and daily basis based on whatever limits you're providing. So let's take a look at an example here. We have an account pulled up and we're looking at some of the data here. We can see the cost is in green. And you'll notice the green line sort of, we can actually turn the rest of these off if we want. The green line is fluctuating sort of all over the place. But because we can't tell how much cumulative spend has happened over the month, it's hard to tell how, how much of our budget has been spent, how much of the budget is left to be spent, especially because, you know, we're not, it's not like the first of the month. <laughs> and rarely are you going to just be able to check your account on the first of every month. So instead, what Google Ads has done is they've put together what's called a budget report. So if you click on edit you if you click to edit your budget you have to select the campaign from the left side here first but when you do that you'll see this view budget report option right here when we click on that it's going to bring up a page that looks like this and there depending on what point in the month you're looking at your report it's going to show kind of a flared out tip at the end here where it's seeing what its projection is but there's a few numbers that you need to be aware of here first of all you've got your current average daily budget which is $75 what Google's going to do is Google Ads is going to take that number and multiply it by 30.4 which is the average number of days in a month and then it's going to get your monthly spend limit from that you can see it's doing that calculation right here and determining that our monthly spend limit is $2,280. So for our forecast, it's looking like we're about, we're gonna be about $20 short of that. And our cost to date is $2,010. And it's saying we're gonna probably get to $2,240. Probably because there's only 30 days in this month instead of 31 or whatever, right? If it was 31 days, it'd probably be a little bit over. So that's how it's, it's not going to go over your monthly spend limit when it does this calculation, whatever your daily budget is, multiplies that by 30.4. That's pretty much a hard cap. So it's not going to go and then spend $5,000 and you're like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> you know, that's, if it gets to a point where it's spent all your money in your two thirds of the way through the month, then it's just not going to run the ads and it's not going to get clicks anymore. And you should be able to see that. Like you can see how it sort of dipped here, but then it picked back up a bit. And if you have a huge spike, because let's say demand spikes really high and it might just spend a bunch of your budget right away and then limit for the rest of the month, you'll be able to see all that here. And Google is doing that intentionally, or I should say Google ads is doing that intentionally because there are specific days throughout a period of a month where Google knows that more people are going to convert, for instance. So for whatever reason, on April 10th, it had the impression that we were going to get really great performance. And on April 8th, it felt like we were going to get really bad performance. So it, it held some of the budget up, didn't spend it on April 8th, and then unloaded it all on April 10th. And then you can see it's done something similar over here. It's kind of done another spike over here. And so there's going to be some days where you're spending almost no budget and getting almost no conversions and no action, nothing. And then other days where it just goes absolutely bananas. <laughs> and a lot of times people are confused by that. They're like, what's going on? I thought I would put a daily budget in. It would spend that every day and I would just get that many leads every single day, right? Well, that's just not how Google Ads works because that's not efficient because there are certain days where clicks aren't really worth anything and probably won't lead to you getting conversions. So let's say you do luxury car rentals, right? Most people don't rent those on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> they rent them going into the weekend, right? Like a Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, rent them for the weekend. You know, that's that's going to be a pretty common thing. So in that sort of industry, you would see spikes and dips on a more regular basis. This is a, uh, 
<clears throat> going to vary depending on what industry you're in and whether you're doing e-commerce versus you know, services and generating leads and all that stuff. The other important thing to note here, though, is that there's another set of limits or one one other limit, which is your daily spend limit. And it just takes your uh, average daily budget and multiplies that by two. So 75 times two would be $150. And that becomes our daily spend limit, which means Google will, won't ever spend more than two times your daily limit that you give it up here, you know whatever you say your budget is so let's say you said your budget's a hundred dollars it's never going to spend more than two hundred dollars in one day but because some days it's only going to spend 20 bucks there might be some days where it actually does spend like in this case 145 out of the 150 so it got really close and then on this day it also got pretty close to spend 130 out of the 150 and of course we still have a few more days to go here uh, but we can see already that it's realizing it's starting to get to its limit, so it's probably not going to unload a ton. In fact, what looks to be yesterday, it got uh, you know spent four dollars and twenty four cents, right? So that's sort of how budget pacing works. There's a lot of different variables, and that's why they've created this report that you can use to more easily see what's going on. The other thing I'll mention too is that you can look at different months of this report and compare what's going on. So we're actually noticing on the 10th, it's doing another one of these spikes. It's doing it again around here. So it's, there's something going on at these specific times of the month where it's liking to increase the budget pretty substantially around the 9th to the 10th and then around like the 23rd, somewhere around there. This is also helpful information and data to have as you're looking at, you know, maybe there are specific times um, that we should be having campaigns run, right? Like you can set, like, let's say you're seeing a spike on every Saturday and then nothing on Sundays. <laughs> you might just have your ad schedule set so that the ads aren't running on Sundays, right? So I hope this is helpful and just a, a, a overall 500 foot view of how this works to help you understand what's really going on here. But if there is anything that you did have questions about in terms of Google ads budget pacing or anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your com uh, your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below. But we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries. And you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.